So let's look at uh, greenhouse gases. Um, at, but before I do that, uh, let me say something about global warming. Um, there's nothing new about global warming. Uh, it goes on all the time. It has been going on for thousands of years at much higher rates, much more intense for longer periods of time than we've experienced in the last uh, period of global warming since CO2 began to be elevated. Uh, this graph shows temperature on the, on the left-hand side and the date year uh, on the bottom. And what you will see is that um, there was a period of cooling from 1880 to 1915. Temperatures were going down. This is a, a global record. And then from 1915 to 1945, the climate warmed. And then it cooled again from 1945 to 1977. And it warmed again from 1977 to 1999. And since 1999, it has cooled slightly. Not a lot, but slightly. So what does that mean? Well, if we go back to the warming that occurred from 1915 to 1945, shown by this curve here, global warming occurred without any increased CO2 in the atmosphere. This was before the big surge of uh, CO2 emissions after World War II in 1945. So if you want to uh, put a, a mental uh, line in 1945, that's the breaking point between increasing CO2 and, and insignificant changes in CO2 prior to that. So this warming took place prior to increased emissions that occurred after 1945 and cannot possibly be ascribed to CO2 as a cause. Cannot be. And then in 1945, global emissions began to escalate very rapidly. And for 30 years, um, as the escalation continued, and we put more and more CO2 in the atmosphere every year, we had 30 years of global cooling. So the question then is, if we've had escalating CO2, which is supposed to cause global warming, why did we have global cooling during the initial period when CO2 was escalating so rapidly? It doesn't make sense. And then finally, there was a period from 1978 to 1998 when global temperatures uh, rose again and, and CO2 was still rising. CO2 has been rising throughout this whole, whole interval. So there's only one period when CO2 was rising at the same time the temperature was. And we can take that back uh, even farther. If we go back 500 years, this graph shows essentially uh, temperature on the uh, left-hand side and the year AD on the bottom, each one of these red peaks is a warm period. Each one of the blue peaks is a cool period. Climate is not constant. It's changing all the time, and it changes in cycles. Uh, warm, cool, warm, cool, warm, cool, with about a 30-year uh, uh, time span between each one. So we could count these. Uh, warm periods, and we can count 20 periods of global warming and global cooling that have occurred in the past 500 years, none of which could possibly have been caused by CO2 because CO2 had not begun to rise until 1945. In other words, we have an instance here of 20 periods of global warming similar to what we've experienced in the period from 1990, 1978 to 1998 that could not have been caused by CO2. They are caused by natural causes. That's important. 20 periods of global warming that can only be ascribed to natural causes in the last 500 years. If we go back even farther, if we go back 10,000 years, uh, this is temperature on the right hand, left hand side. Sorry, it's not labeled. And uh, these are years before present on the bottom. Uh, the red curve you see here are, these are temperatures that are higher than the present temperatures. And so this is 10,000 years ago at the left-hand side. This is present on the right-hand side. Look how much of the last 10,000 years the temperatures have been higher than they are now. Almost all of the last 10,000 years, except for the period beginning about 1,300 years ago, almost all of that, the temperatures on Earth were actually warmer than they are right now. This is, warming is nothing new. As a matter of fact, it's the norm for the last 10,000 years. The blue periods here are from the Little Ice Age, which was a period of global cooling that occurred from about 900 AD um, and may still be going on uh, for, for all we know. So what about all the claims in that temperatures are warmer now than they have ever been? 
these are apparently not true. And they come, those claims come from manipulation of data. Uh, here is the, the real original data. Uh, the hottest year of record, uh, number one for the number of, um, this is the number of um, temperature records that were broken, number one is 1936. Everybody has acknowledged that 1936 was the warmest period, warmest year of this century, until NOAA and NASA began to manipulate the old data and made it cooler. And then they elevated the recent temperature, made them warmer, and so they come up with a headline saying, oh, it's warmer now than it was then. This is the original data before they manipulated it. Uh, you'll see that if, if we take the, the top, uh, top 10, Number two was 1934, uh, three was 1939, four was 1931, uh, five was 1930, uh, six was 1933, seven was 1938, and guess what? They're all in the 1930s. 1930s was the hottest decade of the century. Not the present, not the last decade, but the, the hottest of century. Over here, you look at all these 2000. These are all second tier, 10, 11 through 20. This is what the present temperature has been doing, and it's nowhere close to the, to the other. And if you plot that data, this is what it looks like. Uh, this is a number of temperature records that were broken in any given year. These are years down here. So here we are right here, and now we're breaking somewhere around 2,000 records, temperature records for warmth. And you think, wow, 2,000, that's a lot. But look at what it was doing in 1936 and 1934, 10,000. We are, we are setting record highs at a rate of about only a fourth of those that occurred in the 1930s. That this is, is hard data. Uh, you can, 